guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. I'm really excited for this video because today I finally get to introduce you to my new little pet that I've had for two weeks now to the day. It is a white tree frog, also sometimes called dumpy tree frog. Here's an adorable clip of him exploring around on the little fake plant that I have in his tank the first day I got him. And you can see that he's He's looking a little thin, a little skinny in this video, and he is just a baby frog, so that's called a froglet. He is pretty newly transformed or metamorphosed from a tadpole, so these guys are really delicate at this small size and this young of an age. Um, so I didn't know he was gonna be this small when I ordered him, otherwise I may have may have held off on getting him because I don't know how good it is to ship frogs that are this tiny. And I think that's why he was a little skinny when he arrived, because he just didn't handle the shipping very well. Even though he was skinny, he was a little bit stressed when he first arrived, he ate two crickets almost immediately upon arrival. So that was really, really cute and encouraging. Oh my God, it's so cute watching him eat. So I'm gonna put these clips here so you guys can enjoy it as much as I did. later he's doing really well I've gotten him fattened up quite a bit so I'm really happy and I'm gonna show you guys his quarantine tank setup talk a little bit about that and talk a little bit about the tank that I'm setting up for him to eventually move into the new little guy is being kept over here in this corner of the fish room he's set up in this exoterra medium low tank that actually used to be Sylvia's home before I set her up in her new cage there his quarantine tank here is set up with a bottom of unbleached brown paper paper towels and I mist this tank just once a day just until the paper towels are a little bit moistened but not so that there's like excessive sitting water under there. They really prefer somewhere around 40 to 50 percent humidity with occasional spikes up a little higher like right after misting. So I just mist his little cage here once a day and this is of course dechlorinated water. I of course have a fake plant for him to climb on. This is where he spends all of his time. He loves this fake plant, loves hiding in all the leaves. I have a ceramic heat emitter up on the top of the cage right there. And I have a thermostat that it's plugged into that is set to 90, I think 90 degrees is what I have it set to. The temperature that White's tree frogs prefer is they like the top of their cage to be at about 85 degrees with a slightly warmer basking spot of no more than about 90 degrees. So this area right here is right where the heat emitter is concentrated on. And this area, when I measure it with my temp gun, stays around 90 degrees whereas the top of the tank, like the highest part of the leaf here, is 85 degrees. And then they like a temperature gradient, so the farther down in the tank you go, the cooler it should get for them, to the point where it's about 72 or 75 degrees on the bottom of the tank. So this way the frog can decide to travel around the tank depending on his temperature needs. And he's also got his water dishes. Now when I first got him, I didn't know he was gonna be this tiny, so I had this huge big old water dish in here that took up like a quarter of the bottom. But I quickly realized that was gonna be way too big for him. So thankfully I had these two smaller ones on hand already and I gave him a couple different water depth options. He hasn't done it yet, but supposedly White's tree frogs are notorious for pooping in their water dish. It's just what they like to do. So definitely wanna change out the water dish every day for them. I'll show you guys what his final tank is gonna be. This is the top tank on my rack of vivariums. So it's gonna go way up there. Now eventually I wanna get a group of like four or five white tree frogs, not just the one. 
So they'll all go in here. This cage is plenty big enough for all of them. This is one of the hybrid reptile tanks from Custom Cages. I also have a screen top on this one. So that way the humidity level in this tank is not gonna get nearly as high as it does in my dart frog tank. I have the tree stump background in here from Aqua Decor. And then I have these really awesome foam hollow rocks. And these are from Universal Rocks. They're hollow. They're really lightweight, they're made of foam. What I can do with these is just silicone them onto the glass in kind of like a stepping up pattern. So this one will be way up here and this one will be like here kind of and then these two on the bottom. So they'll be able to crawl up that side of the tank. So once his quarantine is up, that's gonna be his final home and I'm really excited for that one. I think it's gonna be beautiful. But let's feed him some crickets. This is where I keep my crickets, if you guys are wondering. Now, unfortunately, at this point, my crickets are all getting a little bit large. I ordered them at three quarters of an inch, but that was a couple weeks ago. Actually, it was a few weeks ago now. So they've grown a lot, but I'm gonna search through here for the smallest ones I can possibly find. I do have some more smaller crickets coming tomorrow, and these guys are gonna be only a quarter of an inch, so they should last at a small size for a little bit longer. Aw, maybe this one's too big for him. You know what, I'm actually gonna make a quick unexpected trip to Petco because I wanna see if they have anything smaller. Those crickets are just a tiny bit too big and I don't want him to go a day without eating because that wouldn't be good for him in his small little size. Okay, get in, get in. You wanna go pick out a toy? No more grabbing treats right off the rack anymore though. You have to ask first. Can I be in the video? Yeah, do you want to? Yeah. What's your name? Jacob. What are you getting today? I'm always looking at snakes. Oh yeah, this is Palmer. Gotcha, but if you guys do have He's questions. pretty excited to be it's here. Dustin just Palmer, get ask, down. Right? I got ya. Come on, pick out a toy. You want the elephant? Get it. Get it. Well, that was a bust. Petco didn't have anything that was small enough. I kind of thought they wouldn't, but I thought it was worth checking just in case. And there's literally no other pet stores around me that would have small feeder insects like that, which is so weird because back when I lived up in Minnesota, there was like at least a couple different reptile specialty stores that you could go to. And they would always have like little small feeder insects and all kinds of awesome reptiles and amphibians, but not so much here. So at least Palmer got a toy though. All right, Palmer, please like your new toy so I don't feel like it was such a wasted effort. Get your toy. Good boy. I'm so sad that we don't have better pet stores around here. All right, let's get the smallest possible cricket. <gasps> Got it! Wow, okay, he really didn't have a hard time at all. Oh my God, I was over worrying. A few hours ago, I asked my family in our group messaging chat what I should name the new little guy, and my dad said he had a write-in vote because I gave some name options, but he had a write-in name of the Great Gazoo. He's a character, I guess, from the old Flintstones, which I do remember watching, and I do remember this little green alien character on the Flintstones. I just don't remember why he was part of the show. My dad said he was a little Martian with magic powers that would help Fred and Barney out of trouble. 
I think his name has to be Gazoo. I think it does. There are different color types of White's tree frogs. Some of them are, they range from like a really light honey brown to dark brown to light green, kind of a light bluish green like this guy, or they can be a bright intense Kelly green, or they can even be a really deep blue green. So they have a lot of really interesting different color variations. And also they come with white spots on their sides. Some of them do, some of them don't have it. This one does, but he doesn't have a whole lot. So the ones with white spots on their sides are called snowflake white's tree frogs. So you can see he's got the little white spots on his sides and on his back. And as he grows, he's not going to get any more white spots, but they will grow with him. So the white spots will get bigger as he gets bigger. Just to give you an idea of what white's tree frogs can look like when they get bigger, here's an example of some really, really gorgeous ones. I follow the froggy mama, Ashley, on Instagram and Facebook, and she posts the most beautiful pictures. All these pictures are used with her permission, by the way, and I definitely recommend that you guys go check out her Instagram because she has the most beautiful froggies and she takes really great pictures of them too. So that'll give you an idea of what little Gazoo here is gonna look like when he gets bigger. Right now he's just a teeny tiny little baby, but they grow really fast and I'll be keeping you guys updated on his growth progress as time goes on. And I'm really excited to be able to watch him grow from just a tiny little froglet to a big old frog. So there's the great Gazoo, my new little white's tree frog, the new addition out here to the fish room. I absolutely love him already. He's only been here for two weeks and he's already grown a lot. Like it's crazy. I really thought that those crickets would be too big for him, but I completely underestimated how fast he's growing because he took those crickets with no problem. So that's really good. He's just so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the great Gazoo down in the comments below and stay tuned for his upcoming tank build video because I just need to go to the store and get some black silicone and then I'll be setting up his tank. So stay tuned if you want to see the video about how that's all going to come together and I'll be putting it up on the rack way up there. So I'm going to need a pretty tall ladder <laughs> to be able to check on him every day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and until then stay gold.